prepared some slides. I think I will jump very quickly through them and give the word to Mitya then, because we are a little bit behind schedule. And uh, I think really that you know most of the things already that I'm showing you here. You have seen some pictures of Solheimar and uh, my background we don't need to discuss. And then uh, you also know a lot of things about commercial aquaponics. Uh, many good ideas, uh, many plans, uh, very few realities really. We made um, just uh, this aquaponics guidelines. Uh, I don't have for all of you, but you can uh, distribute and maybe have one uh, per working group then afterwards. And uh, in this, we try to uh, focus on uh, large systems in Europe, really get, uh, get uh, the knowledge about what, uh, what we have already established, not in the planning, but established. And uh, we have Breen in Spain, uh, they have uh, had 500 square meters for five years now and have been, uh, are constructing a 2,000 square meter plant in Technica, a uh, research uh, and vocational education training institute. And they are now also constructing a 5,000 square meter, not started up, but under construction. Uh, Paul has his unit in Denmark. It's uh, only uh, 60 square meters, but it's very high tech. It was constructed and designed by Aqua Group in collaboration with Paul. So it's uh, very interesting. He can have fish uh, running in RAS system and then the plants for itself. So he can decouple or mix it, have it uh, coupled uh, just uh, yeah, in, in, different, in different ways. Uh, Ponica in Slovenia, we have Mitya there. They have established 400 square meters with salad production in Slovenia. Uh, you can see our system uh, tomorrow at the Akur farm. We have Thorder sitting there. He's the owner of Akur, where we have uh, 500 square meters greenhouse, but still uh, mostly in soil. So we are using some of the water for irrigation in the soil and some of it uh, for, for hydroponics. Uh, then we have uh, Eduardo Panzanella in Italy, uh, one of the famous aquaponics uh, specialists. Uh, we have urban farmers in Switzerland, a spin-off from Sjö, uh, run by Andreas Graber and uh, Ranka Junge. Uh, we have Tropenhaus in Switzerland, two places, and one in Germany, very much focused on uh, tourism and uh, some... Uh, to call it experience and a restaurant and things like that. Uh, and then we have these new uh, companies in Germany, ESF and the Bio Aqua Farm in UK. I have not visited them myself, but I just got some knowledge about it at our last cost meeting. And uh, also this fish glass house, which uh, life knows everything about in Rostock. Uh, and then we have uh, this European project uh, where they plan to build four or five hundred square meters units. And if you know about more in the size of some hundred square meters or some really high tech, then please let me know because I think this is kind of a list of larger aquaponics in U U Europe and you can relate it to the number that Paul often uses that you need 1,000 square meters of production in a greenhouse to have a job for or, or pay for one person. So a few hundred square meters is not a lot. So all small still. Just one question, are you making available uh, slides? Yeah, 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 you can get everything. Uh, and uh, the main challenge is uh, still joining different industries, thinking in different ways, and uh, people are just doing their own and uh, maybe things that will disturb them to to mix things, but uh, also a lot of uh, a lot of possibilities in the challenges. So I think, uh, well, I would state that in uh, the last three, four, five years, a lot has happened. Uh, I could feel in 2010, 11 that the industries were not uh, 
I mean, they were laughing at this, really. They, don't, they didn't think that aquaponics was something real. It was something small in the backyard. Uh, but now it has changed, I think, because the agriculture farms want to uh, uh, have some solutions for the future, how they can minimize their effluents, uh, how they can reuse nutrients and things like that. So I think uh, there are a lot of uh, opportunities if you can join the correct people. This is uh, from one of our cost meetings. Uh, as you see, a lot of people interested in this. Um, and of course, trying to answer all these global challenges, try to do some sustainable solutions. I will just talk briefly about this, the, your business ideas, how to guide you through the, through the ideas. First of all, what I do, and I like to do things a little bit differently. So whatever I say, or I ask you, or I invite you to do, it's an invitation. So you, you can do it or not. It's up to you. We will try to, to lead you to the whole process. And if you think fine to do it a little differently, of course you can. If you have some other methodologies to use with your business planning, you're welcome to do it. We'll just present shortly some of the methodologies we have here. Then we will let you choose whether to do it or not. So the first thing we will do today, it's we will take your ideas, you will form groups of three to five people, and you will have a business idea. And then we will play a little bit with that idea. It's a methodology that I use, it's called Seven Thinking Cats, and it's based on six thinking cats from the Bono methodology. And this is uh, quite a teamwork, because when you start working in teams, people think different ways. You know, one is a negative guy and say, oh, I don't like it, this, won't, this is not going to work. We don't have any customers and stuff like that. And then the other is very positive normally. In state. <clears throat> yeah, this is a good idea. We can make money out of it. We can, we can set up the system. The system will function. And then you have a lot of conflicts in the group. So this methodology will, will allow you to use all different. This is, this is how you will be able to evaluate your idea. And the next thing, <clears throat> we will come to, to the real stuff. So we will use the business plan, how to model the business plan, and we will use the business plan canvas methodology. It's quite a new one from one Swiss guy. It's quite simple and it covers all nine areas that are essential to develop a business plan. And one of the most important parts, parts, but it can be also a boring one, it's calculations that we are going to do tomorrow. So parts of the business plan or the rough business plan, we can put it up today. And some other parts we will develop or go further deeper into, into it uh, in the next day. So calculations will be next day. We will play with, with Excel, we will play with the costs, with, with, uh, also with income, how to calculate it, how to do some stuff on it. <laughs> then later on we will do some risk management. So you have to be aware aquaponics is by itself not very, not very easy to, to handle. It's quite a lot of different variables to check and different stuff. And also in the marketing side is there a lot of different approaches, and we'll go to that. And we also say, as, as, um, as I see an aquaponics as a kind of new management stuff as well. So if you, you have new approaches with teams, how to handle stuff, do you really have directors and bosses, or you all do stuff a little bit self-organized, and how to form a team, what kind of people do you need in a team to, to perform well? This is, this is the, the last day that we will have. And uh, the day is structured and it, this kind of way that we start with something, and we end up with, with a plenum, or, or as, a, as I like to call it, it's a harvesting. So we will learn through the day, we will have a lot of interactions, you will have a lot of work group to do, and in, in the end of the day, we will share things. Share things that you will find up in your working groups. We will share things in a, in a way that you will present very shortly, because there will be quite some groups here, and we will present very shortly three good things, that you found out about your, your projects, three bad things. And you, you can also, up to three, of course, and you also can add three procedural things that you have. So you may have some issues with, with, with the modeling, you find something is missing somewhere, you would rather do it some other way. If you have other methodologies, you are also welcome to explain it and stuff like that. And these pool sessions, and uh, by the end of the day, it is meant to be like our gift to you. So if you have any additional questions or any subjects that you would like to discuss much more, not in a formal way, but a little bit less formal, you just put stickers 
one of the notes, and you say, what, what is the subject you want to discuss it? And we will see if we can help you. Maybe we're not the technical guys, so if we have some deep technical questions, we might not be able to answer. But any, any stuff from the business planning and stuff, we can try, or sustainability levels or something like that, we can try to answer. You just put a sticker somewhere in there. We will try to see if we can, if we can answer. So that's basically from my point.